Hi, I'm Phil from TurboMini.com. Welcome to another video. As always, grab a brew. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Hi, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is uh, 12G295 cylinder heads again. This one, I'm actually going to be showing uh, how we're going to refurb this one. It's an original casting, completely unskimmed. Uh, standard size chambers, standard valve sizes. It's actually not in too bad a condition, but what we're going to do to resurrect it, we're going to put new guides in it, we're going to put unleaded uh, inserts in for the exhaust, we're going to recut all the seats, uh, we're actually going to put larger valves in, and we're going to multi angle the seats. So, I will be doing some flow bench testing of it, so I'll show the results that that picks up. Uh, we're also going to give it a very light skim just to ensure it's flat uh, and give it a good clean up, and then it'll be ready to go again. This is an exhaust seat insert, it's actually a hard steel ring so we'll be machining around the exhaust seats there, machining the groove into there and then you press those in so they'll go in all four exhaust valves, all four exhaust seats sorry uh, and then we'll recut the seat uh, and that'll wear a lot better than the cast iron that the head's made of from the factory when leaded fuel was around that was fine, the seats used to wear just fine as the lead acted as as a buffer against uh, against valve seat erosion but now we're all on unleaded fuel uh, the inserts are the only way to go really otherwise the cast iron seats wear pretty rapidly this is actually for going to be used on a boosted engine so we're going to be running the stainless race valves for exhaust and inlet uh, and they need to be running bronze guides so we'll be fitting the bronze guides uh, they're all available for mini spares we'll also be putting double springs on it uh, new stem seals and like I say it'll be fully refurbed, skimmed, seats cut ready to go as I said before, this is a pretty rare one as it's actually unskinned, so the guy's pretty lucky to find this. Uh, all cylinder heads from the factory, tw uh, small bore or big bore heads, all measure 2.75 inches thick, so let's do a rough, you should use a, a mic really if you want to get it spot on, but you can be able to get it close enough for the, with this. So there we go, 69.85 millimetres, that's 2.75 inches, so it's bang on, no skimming off that one, so that's ideal for a boosted engine. Nice big chambers and uh, drop its compression nicely. As I said before, we will actually be putting bigger valves in this cylinder head. Uh, one of the main reasons for putting bigger valves in the inlet, not only an increase in airflow, but because this, of the width of the seats, the factory seats are ridiculously narrow, uh, around about 50, 60 thou, uh, very narrow, so they do actually wear quite badly. So we're going to have to put a bigger valve in just basically so we can cut a fresh seat. If you use a stock size valve again and you cut that seat, the valve's going to start to recess into the head, so we'll go up a valve size. We'll actually be able to reclaim the seat and uh, cut a multi-angle seat in there, so that'll help airflow. And obviously we can cut the seat a bit wider, which is a lot more suited to road use. The exhaust, like I say, putting an insert in, so we could st stick the stock size valve back in again. But we'll, to compensate for the larger inlet, we'll actually go up slightly on the exhaust size as well, just to balance that out. Right, so if you tune back in uh, for part two, you'll see the work we've carried out and then we'll do some floor bench testing and we'll see what difference the uh, larger valves and the multi-angle seats make. If you enjoyed this video, please have a look at our other ones and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.